Hello YouTube, this is Paul from Holster Pro Gun Leather. Today I want to show you a new small of the back model holster I've got. I'm going to demo it here with my Glock 19. As I like to say in all my videos, I will title this Glock 19 holster, but it can be made for any gun on my website. Pretty much every Glock, um, most of your Smith & Wessons, Ruger's, Sig Sauer, everything you like, uh, it's on there. Feel free to ask in the comments if you'd like a specific gun demoed in one of these videos to show me what it looks like. I'll make a holster up and do it. Um, but I generally uh, like to try a holster out myself, wear it around for a while before I can recommend it to any customers. And if you watch a lot of my videos, Glock 19 is one of my absolute favorite guns. And I like to carry this thing as often as I can. So start with safety first. As we can see, as always, gun is unloaded, safe, ready to go. I'm going to close it down. Um, I'm going to keep the mag in it just because I think it makes it look better for presentation, but it is totally empty as we see there. So we've got a new small to back holster. I've been getting a lot of requests for this one. If you look at my website, is my model 46. All right, and this one, as you can see, I'm going to feed a belt through here, and then in a minute, I'm going to show you what it actually looks like on my body. So here's where our belt feed's going to go. I'm going to show you something in just a minute when I demo this one actually on a body as well. That behind it, I'm going to refer to belt loops. And what I mean by belt loops, we've got our loops or tunnels, whatever you want to call them, on the holster themselves. But when this feeds through, on my pants, my jeans, my slacks, whatever you want to call them, you have your natural belt loops that they put on there. I would anchor a loop right behind this, which means you still feed the holster through that loop or the belt through that loop. And then I would start this holster loop through a belt loop on your pants right there. That way your belt loop will catch this and it won't drag it across when you draw. So, as you can see here, we've got a very simple uh, two-slot slide holster to be carried right in the small of your back. It is fully covered trigger and trigger guard on both sides. I'll show you the back side as well. It's pretty much a mirror image. It just comes up a little bit harder or a little bit higher. I've got uh, slide clearance. I've got my magazine release covered up, and everything is safe. It's going to feed through there. This will fit belts between one and a quarter and one and three quarter inches. So without any further ado, let's see what it looks like on a real person. Okay, so for this portion of the video, I do apologize. I'm going to have my back to the camera here so I get to look at my butt. Um, this is what the profile of the holster looks like under what I would wear, a hoodie or something, and maybe even a jacket and turn around. So from the front, from the side turn, you don't see it that well. What I do recommend as I lift this up here is that you start with this loop here, this belt loop on my pants, if you can see it, as an anchor behind the holster. Let the holster loop come on the other side. So when I pull, it doesn't come across or anything. This is a simple draw. I'm right-handed, strong side, palm facing the body, one-handed, draw, one-handed, reholster, easy to cover it up again. What I'll show you also that I will do is I will draw the weapon, put it in a safe position, and behind here, I also have, I don't know how well you can see it here, but this belt loop here, the belt is through that loop by my pants as well for added stability. And then the holster goes back, the gun goes back in the holster, easy to hide, easy to cover up. Okay, so now that we've seen what this holster looks like with a gun in it, on a body, uh, a couple other questions I'll answer for you before you go click into the website. Can I wear this holster sitting down? Yes, you can, but you got to remember there are trade-offs when you carry certain weapons. I know I'm right-handed when I put a strong side um, holster such as my Model 19. This is a strong side, I've worn this thing for years. Uh, strong side retained belt holster on my right side, I will get a little annoyed when I go to buckle my seatbelt seat because it's on that right side. This will not run into a seatbelt at all, but obviously it's pressed into your lower back just a little bit. I tell people to please be realistic and keep in mind that you're carrying a two pound piece of steel on your belt and there are going to be some times where it just pushes into your body a little bit. This is a Glock 19. It's got a three and a half inch barrel. The slide is a little bit longer and I do like to cover up my slides a little bit on the muzzle side. So um, this is going to hang down beneath the belt just a little bit more than a smaller gun such as the SIG 365, such as a smaller gun like the three or a SIG P938, a smaller gun like the Springfield 911. Look at the difference between these two guns and you can already picture which one is going to hang beneath the belt less. So we've got an almost horizontal carry here with the gun. I turned up a little bit more. And when I make that turn, of course, the slide's gonna come down a little bit more. So if we're looking for sheer comfort and you want um, less leather and metal space behind your back, you can get yourself a smaller gun. Can I wear this to drive? Yes, I can. 
Can I wear this to sit in a hard wooden or steel chair all day long? I don't know if that'd be that comfortable. But for the most part, people who are carrying small with the back holsters are going to be moving around, going to be a little bit mobile. I know a lot of shopkeepers in town carry guns like this because it's behind them. You can't see it. It's easy to get to, and it's easy to hide. Optimally, I would wear this if I'm going to be moving around beyond my feet. If I'm going to be sitting all day long, I'm going to think about another carry like one of my ankle holsters or something else. We can make that. Um, I know it's really hard to please all people all the time, but before you go buying that holster or even that gun, consider the environment in which you will be carrying it. That's one of the biggest mistakes I've seen. We go watching TV, we watch movies, we see Dirty Harry, we want the big 44 Magnum, which is a great gun, but for everyday carry and practical use, I would not put that gun in this holster. You got to be realistic. Everything is got its time and place. Be realistic before you get anything. So if you have any questions, please contact me via my website, email, text, phone, whatever you want to do. Please feel free to add in the comments section uh, something else you'd like to see demoed. I do appreciate all my customer feedback. I try and get back to people as soon as I can, and I try to accommodate all needs. So thank you very much. Please check out holsterpro.com today, where everything is made right here in the United States of America. Have a great day.